I did not like that. Hi, tea people. How are you? <laughs> hey, Norman. Hi, Jordan. Hello. We're here today to review a new tea. It's actually not part of the Camellia sinensis, Camellia sinensis family. So for those of you who know uh, a thing or two about tea, um, most teas, uh, that's black, green, oolong, white, uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm missing something, all come from the same plant, which is Camellia sinensis, and there's different types of that plant. This is a totally different species of plant. It is called mountain tea. It's organic, and the name of it is, where is it here? It's from Greece, Mount Othrios. It's somewhere, <clears throat> this is taking longer than I thought, sorry guys. There it is, Sideritis, or Sideritis raceri, okay? And it suggests that its antibacterial action is even more effective when combined with a few lemon drops. Although, it may be more <laughs> antibacterial, but that doesn't mean it's actually tastier. Uh, right, Jordan? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. So, um, so this tea is really interesting. You can see the leaves pretty clearly here. The, uh, the word sideritis, or si I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, uh, in Greek translates into something like ironwort. So it's ironwort tea or mountain tea. Uh, and it has a really interesting story that, that goes with it. Because it has antibacterial, apparently, I think, anti-inflammatory pro uh, properties as well, um, and uh, antioxidant. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of health benefits in this particular plant, which there's been quite a bit... Uh, well, there's been some research about. I'll put the links below. Uh, Jordan looks... <laughs> He's... I didn't. I didn't like it when I had, uh, uh, this tea by itself. It's is really good. It's mm -hmm. perfect. With lemon, it just seems very sour. Yeah, I, it's like it's a Greek thing, yeah. I guess. But yeah, um, so the the name ironwort comes from. There's two ideas as to where that came from. One was that because of the anti antibacterial properties, the plant was made into tinctures and used to heal wounds from iron weapons. Ooh. That's right, from iron swords. Um, and the other, yeah, you can grab that here. Take the scissors. Those are uh, honey sticks. So yeah, cut, just cut one end. Um, the other is that because the leaves are kind of shaped like the tips of iron spears. Ooh. At any rate, uh, I thought it'd be interesting to try. It has apparently all of these health benefits. Um, how do you like it, Jordan? I like it. On without, its own. Without, without lemon and sweetener in it, it's actually pretty nice. What about Although, with... the sweetener is okay, mm -hmm. but the lemon is kind of weird. Yeah, it does make it, it tastes really Greek, like it has a certain. Apparently, this um. The way that you're supposed to have it with lemon and honey, right? Yeah, they say honey to taste and lemon. This is also an herb. Apparently, sometimes they use it in cooking because it's very aromatic. Here, do you want to pull it out and take a sniff? Just the bags open so you can smell. I found it today at Freshco of all places. Ooh, it smells really good. Norman? Oh, are we gonna eat it? Oh my goodness. Apparently Jordan is. So it's just a dried plant. Um, it's also used in cooking. It's Jordan's mm. thing now. Oh, it, it is also, well, you probably get more health benefits from just eating the plant. Um, and it is used as a spice in some... Oh, there's Norman's eating it too. Wow. Okay, give me a piece. I'm going to try it. Just a small piece, though. I'm so disappointed with my life. Okay, well, it's a spice used in cooking, but it's uh, for its aromatic scent. I don't know if you keep it in or if it's like rosemary where you put a whole sprig of it in and then like take it out no, at the no, end. No. Here, let me, let me. No, no. So this is the, the flower. No. That looks like something anyway. <laughs> um, is that a flower? I don't recommend you eat it. I'm going to try a little bit. This taste is flavor. Down the hatch. It's like a two out of ten. Well, it just tastes like eating a dried plant with like Maybe one out of ten. Mindy qualities, but really bad texture. <laughs> I just made you guys eat that. Okay, it tastes kind of like it. if you put catnip. Because I ate it, everyone else ate it. <laughs> if you put catnip in... You guys don't have to do what I do. Just because what I do seemed like a good idea at the time. If you put catnip and mint well, together. I want to experience it, right? I feel like if you put catnip and mint together, that's what you get. Um, <clears throat> can you pass me the sugar, please? Sugar, please. Yes, yes it's much better absolutely. as a tea. 
So it's um it's used for it's been used well traditionally <coughs> as a medicine for treating ulcers. So it's good for stomach problems. Oh. Yeah. So, diamonds falling. I have stomach problems a lot. I know. You were saying this might be a replacement for tum tum tea, which is you know kind of tum tum. Tea. Maybe I'll make a new tum tum tea blend with. I, I have a blend that we call tum tum tea that I make that's good for tummy upset. So uh, if this works, have a little bit more tea. Great. So you guys like the tea? There's more tea. I'm gonna fill it up. With I it like the tea. I drank it all. Well, there you have it. Uh, okay. Uh, I can't. Yeah, there's none left. I can make some more. I can make some more. I'm pretty sure you can reseed. Mm. With the lemon and the honey, like they described, the lemon makes it really kind of like tart, weird. Tangy. It is. It's kind of like sour. It has that kind of like. Imagine if you added, if you had like a tea with catnip in it. Mm -hmm. and like lemongrass and like those kind of flavors and mint and you added lemon juice to it i mean some people like lemon juice in their black tea i did not like that <laughs> so i did not like having lemon in my tea. i don't mind it in, in my tea. orange tea though, because but... the the flavor was not it was not the correct flavor to me but i bet that, that like it's probably acquired taste maybe I don't know. yeah i mean greek food has a lot of lemon in it right and a lot of like mm. aromatic herbs mm -hmm. so for them it's probably not that weird for us it's a little bit different than what we're used to just the flavor by itself seems to be okay and then you add lemon and it tastes like it's like, <laughs> then, like it doesn't belong there i don't know yeah it's kind of like you get the first taste of the lemon like washes through your mouth and then only after that's gone through with the sourness of the lemon you get the tea it doesn't blend oh <clears throat> it doesn't blend <laughs> so um out of 10 norman for flavor yeah uh, for flavor just on its own i'll give it a six yeah it's a very mild pure herb herbal tea um and jordan flavor just on its own 6.5 6.5 all right um flavor with a uh, sweetener just sweetener. Just the sweet. Uh, um, that like the honey. Yeah, honey or sugar. Yeah, oh the sugar. Well, I would give it probably like a eight. You liked it with sugar or honey? Which uh, do you prefer? I liked it with better with sugar. Okay, better with sugar, Jordan. It was also a little bit better with sugar. Yeah, better with seven. sugar. Seven. Mm -hmm. Seven. Oh, okay. Now, um, <clears throat> how about with the lemon? One. One. <laughs> okay, I would give it like a three and a half. For that, because well, the flavor no, was interesting. Like probably. that's. I would me. drink it. I would still drink and it. And like, um, it'd be, if it was like that, it would be better cold. I okay. Guess. And raw, raw tea. Zero. <laughs> I mean, Possibly zero. Zero on a scale of one to ten. Zero. I mean, I've tasted worse things, but that's true. I, I mean, you know, but like, was it better, worse than the frosted cereal? If it was bad, then I would have said it at like negative one. No, that it was not worse than frosted cereal. No, frosted cereal. Re-steeped re re frosted cereal with no flavor in it whatsoever. Not bad. But uh, I would say that um, we would eat that more than we would probably eat this. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's 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 not like horrible, but it's not good either. Well, there you have it. Um, we try. Mountain tea or ironwort tea, as it's also known. Um, yep, there we go. Totally organic, just the raw leaves, stems, and flowers because they cut up the whole plant and make it into tea. And um, again, I will link some of the health benefit information of this tea. Uh, it might seem like it's something that would be hard to find. It's distributed by Krinos, K R I N O S, uh, and it was only about three bucks, like it was like $2.97 at Freshco of all places. They have an aisle with like Greek and British foods and things like that and it was just sitting there on the shelf. So I don't know if all Freshco's carry it. Um, they're all over the place in Canada now. And uh, if not, I mean, you could just look up Kratos and, and try to find it that way, mountain tea. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, have a beautiful day and remember, and remember when you drinky, you must flick the pinky. Flick the pinky. Thank you guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this like tea video. Like and subscribe. Yes. Don't forget to join at, our haven of tea crazed people. Look for, and, look for, subscribe to Norman L seven five. Yes. This and this channel, which is tea crazed. And my upcoming and channel, this channel, which, I mean, it's going to be named Magic Show probably.
Bye.